Hi, I'm Megan. Today we're going to perform a blood draw from a lateral saphenous vein in a dog. Now, in, in an emergency situation, we prefer to save the front legs and the cephalic veins for IV catheter placement. So when we give injections, especially a pain medication, or when we draw blood, we like to do it from these lateral saphenous veins. Now, in this dog, I'm going to clip a little bit of hair so that we can see things a little bit better. So we'll just shave a small area. It's proximal to the hock here. So you can kind of see where this vein goes. Keep that over there. So here's the vein. It's going to run right over. I can kind of push it with my finger here. And I'll have Sarah hold off. So when you've got somebody occluding this vein, you kind of want to hold off behind the knee. Here's the stifle here. Sometimes it helps to wrap your whole hand around. But now you can see this vein popping up really nicely. The trick to these saphenous veins is that they are really superficial and so a lot of times you think you're going to be in it and you're actually underneath it. So I put a little bit of alcohol on it, got my syringe, so I'm going to introduce it bevel up. Again, I like to kind of stabilize with my thumb. You can see the vein moving a little bit. I'm just going to slide underneath the skin here. Okay, buddy. It helps to kind of stabilize the syringe with your thumb. Sometimes these can be a little bit positional as well, so just try and there we go. Sometimes if I move my thumb underneath, just want to draw back slowly. And I need about two mils for my sample here. So once I get that, place a Band-Aid over. Sarah can finish that for me. And now I've got my sample. And that's it.